Hey guys, what is up? Good morning and happy Monday. It feels really weird to do this, but I can't say long because I haven't given you guys any update whatsoever when it comes to our live or our coffee shop. And we've been working really, really hard nonstop on our coffee shop and trying to make this come to reality. Um, so what you'll see from us moving forward is going to be a few um, vlogs and a few tips and tricks and things and that we would like to share with you guys based on our experience opening up, opening up a coffee shop. So if you're here for the first time, what's up? My name is Frances, this is my husband, Neomar. We have, uh, together we have three kids. We have one back there, which is our baby, which is, he's always with us. Um, the other two are in school and we are opening up our very first coffee shop brick and moral um, If you haven't seen any of our coffee shop videos um, I will link link them down below or put some up here for you guys to see um, So that you can see them and kind of like catch up on and kind of catch up on what's happening and why are we building and whatever we are located in Orlando and I will leave our Instagram handle give us all away oh so see if it was open oh and we will leave our Instagram handle down below but first coffee shop so today I want to take you guys along to just see kind of um what's been going on in the coffee shop right now they are breaking ground well they finished breaking ground for um what is it called? Este... The plumbing? Yeah, but eso se llama este... Floor plumbing? Whatever. Under floor plumbing, whatever it's called. Every plumber, every, prom, every plumbing and drainage needs to go by the bottom of the floor. Abajo del piso, eso se llama un nombre. Este... Underground. Underground, thank you. Underground plumbing. So, esta, the place is a little bit desastroso. Estamos trayendo our ice maker machine that we purchased and two hand sinks and we're going to be trying to find more um, stuff for the coffee shop today and we are planning on doing something really special for the coffee shop before it opens so that you guys can kind of start getting a taste of what the first coffee shop is going to look like. So do you want to add something? No, stay tuned. Sure, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and go inside. All right, guys, this is what <clears throat> the outside looks like. We haven't had a sign yet. We just have these little banners here um, going on. Este, and we're going to be bringing in the coffee maker. I mean, I keep saying the coffee maker. Say hi. 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 ¿Cómo tú te llamas? Um, Adrián. Yeah, Adrián. This is our baby boy. I love baby. Oh, I'm sorry. He's not a baby. He's a big boy. You want to come down? Okay. I'm not a baby, I'm a big boy. Don't go all the way inside. Quédate aquí afuera porque eso está. All right, so we're bringing in some hand sinks, hand sink, a filter for the AC, and our ice maker. So let's go ahead and go inside. I have to call um, Ruben and see what's happening today all right guys so you're have your take lo está viendo aquí primero <laughs> nadie ha visto what this is looking like quédate ahí que aquí apesta quédate con papá so everything that we had already installed um obviously floors are covered our coffee bar is completely covered because they broke floor um, the city is requiring us a second bathroom. Uh, we already had one, but they're requiring a second bathroom because of how big this space is. So they broke ground. They broke concrete. All of this is where the um, uh, drainage is going to come. Machine is going to sit right on here. Drainage. So basically hand sink. So we have a drainer. going. So basically this is where the drainage is going to run through. Um, there have to come some plumbing and they have to obviously cover so 
nothing is being done guys we've been having this place for a little bit it's gonna be a year now guys it's gonna be it's gonna be a year um it's a little frustrating to come here month in month out, month out week in week out <laughs> and um bello así Todavía esté siendo build, todavía estando los pisos rotos, todavía no poniendo nada, no poder hacer absolutamente nada. <coughs> so it, it is a little, it's a little bittersweet, you guys. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna call our contractor guy that's in charge of plumbing and get kind of like an update to see what's happening, what's coming, because we estamos contra reloj, so. So we need um, them to start moving ASAP. So this is a little glimpse of what it looks like right now on the inside, but I know it's gonna be amazing once everything is done. Alright, so what you just kind of witnessed was um, us having a meeting with the contractor of the plumber. Um, <clears throat> este, basically just kind of seeing what's next, when the plumber is going to come and do the plumbing. Um, it's a little bittersweet because um, on, on Thursday they finished breaking, they finished cleaning up the place for the plumber. And then we were said that once they do that, the plumber is going to come in and start working. So Friday came, we were really excited because we knew that the plumber was probably going to start working. <coughs> the plumber was going to start working and he didn't come on Friday. So he said, don't worry, Monday, Monday you'll have him. Um, and today's Monday and we were we had high hopes and we just got oh, we just got done with him in the meeting saying that by tomorrow we might have somebody this is the problem this is the problem because there's 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 other people you know that I must trabajo and so plumbers are working and um, you know it's not like there's 300 plumbers sitting around to do a commercial plumbing there's a very few that do, that do these type of jobs and they already are working on something so it's really hard to squeeze something in so hopefully tomorrow we have better news and hopefully we do have a plumber that wants to work the business because we did have one but what he said is he was charging us way too much for yeah he increased the... yeah he increased a little bit more on what he has said in the beginning for the second bathroom so he said he's looking for someone that's gonna charge us um, a lot less so that by today we would have something. So it's just a little bittersweet because you you know you think plumbers are gonna start working today. It's probably like a two, three day job. But right now we don't know because we don't know who's gonna work the plumbing. Yeah. Anyway, so right now we're gonna head on to our second project that we're working for the coffee shop that I will let you know soon. So you see how the moods change? I you know. start being really excited because of things are ha starting to happen, but all of a sudden something happens and just kind of throws you completely out. Welcome to the life of a business owner. Not easy. Not easy, but you have to stay. We have to stay positive, man. No, believing that God have everything under control. So. I went on YouTube and I haven't. We, we've been doing. We've been going onto YouTube to kind of have ideas. Y gente que han abierto coffee shops. People share nothing, y'all. People share nothing. Like yo me meto and I'm like yo, like what are they using? What? Nothing. They share nothing. It's like oh my God. Like why can't you just share? It's not like I'm gonna use the same coffee or have your same coffee technique. And it's not like we are neighbors, you know. <laughs> we're in a different country. <laughs> Bro, they don't share nothing, so I don't mind sharing um, the things with you guys um, in hopes that inspires you to maybe open like a little cafe or a little coffee shop or whatever. Um, from our experience, it's it's not easy. It's not as as easy as 
with that. They told us. Yeah, it's been complicated. Yeah. But, you know, it's just that we didn't know nothing about it, you know? Like, it's, it was like, uh, we just did it. That's it. That's how we are. And we're learning as, as we, we go. go. So that's that's why it's been so hard also, you know? Um, if you want to do something like that, my recommendation, just read about it. Uh, follow people that do it. Mm -hmm. Read about that people. Uh, mm -hmm. Make yourself a, a guru, a freaking expert on that area. And then when you're ready, just go for it. And hit it super hard, as hard as you can. You know, and that's it. But you know, the issue I think that I, that we having is just that we we never have anyone to to help us. You know, to teach us. We just did it. That's it. Mm-hmm. We're reading. Yeah. We're reading books. We're going onto yeah. YouTube. Um, so I don't know. Maybe we can start a little series in hopes to inspire you and maybe just kind of help you the most we can. Um, and open up a cafe, coffee shop, um, and make it work. Because after this is done and when we open, obviously, I'm, we're going to continue to vlog it. We're going to continue um, to put like opening procedures, closing procedures. So we'll give you all the we'll okay. give all the juicy stuff for you guys. A day in a barista. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a day in the life of Arista. Those are cool. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to head into our next stop and then I'll come back and show you guys um, the type of appliances that we're looking for for our coffee shop. All right, so here we are. We came to Best Buy. <coughs> I know. <laughs> I, I would like something like this, but. Te busco ahora, papi. Te busco ahora. But I feel like these are like straight out for wine. That's really pretty. It's so um so puppy retro looking. I saw a coffee shop that had a nevera some that looked something like this. They had something like this, but all in black. Um, I want to know if someone can come help me and tell me so that I know and stop looking at these What is the difference between that and this? So So what do you want babe? I want something that looks like this Oh look at that, it's even in in pink Wood in Madeira, that's so beautiful Oh, look at this one But these are like wine Coolers, beverage cooler. I want to know what the difference between a beverage cooler and one of these. Obviously well, that's a fridge. I know, but this has also, you know, a little... It's a chill box. It's a chill box. That's where you need to go. Most of the time. You need to chill. You need, you need a chill box. And that's a fridge and that's a wine cooler, right? A cooler. Well, it says a beverage cooler. Let's find someone to help us. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, yep. I'm, I'm taking the kid uh, with the car. And the princess, she's gone. Twenty-six pounds. Twenty-six pounds. I am for ciento veinticinco pesos. Oh, that one's nice. What are you doing, Anelindo? What watching are you doing? This. You watching that? Yeah. Hey, pregúntale. Pregúntale. Ah, tiene una pregunta. So I'm sorry for this angle, you guys. I know it's not the best angle, but I'm just kind of putting the camera here. So we just uh, finished a Best Buy and we decided to go for now for with the under counter cooler. Um, it is, again, it's not the commercial type. We will eventually get the commercial type once things were bumping one thing start rolling but oh, when you're building a coffee shop when you're building a business when you're building a restaurant everything commercial it's really 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 expensive super expensive so my advice to you it's always kind of shop around and look at your options 
because sometimes if you're building something small like us you don't need to go with the top of the line um cooler or ice maker but i feel like if your main focus is the coffee obviously you need to go with your top of the line coffee machine because that is going to be your baby so with that being said um shop around ask other people um try to find what really best works for you and your budget um i honestly wanted to do i had something that i want to do in mind but when reality hits it's crazy commercial industrial anything they, it's literally triple the price so we ended up going with a under counter cooler that holds up to 115 cans for now we know that eventually once we open and things in the bowl starts rolling we'll eventually be able to upgrade to something more 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 sturdy more heavy duty for the type of traffic that we will have so that's on that guys just a little tip for you you don't really have to go out and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on top of the line equipment um, when you can shop around and find alternatives that are going to work for you.